Paula Pickard was Mike's girlfriend on Jersey Shore and their brief relationship was insanely chaotic. But after they broke up, we basically didn't hear anything about her anymore. What's happened to Paula over the years is so bizarre and you'll never believe what her life is like today. Paula appeared on a few seasons of Jersey Shore, but she's mainly remembered for her job, who she dated, and her cake prank. She worked at the tanning salon that the Shore mates regularly visited, but I think most people associated her with Mike the Situation Sorrentino. They had a casual fling that was basically on again, off again, but in season six, Paula and Mike made their relationship official, and I still can't believe how ridiculous it was. Mike did not treat Paula well at all, and he was honestly pretty awful to her. At one point, he made a comment about how she would have to fix some cosmetic issues with her appearance in order to be a 10. I thought that was seriously uncomfortable called for and also just plain wrong. Paula was and still is beautiful, which is probably why she's had modeling jobs throughout her life. Mike's diss about her looks was just one of the instances when I wish Paula would realize she deserved better and dump him. And there were so many moments like that, unfortunately. I feel like Mike's refusal to acknowledge his commitment issues was a part of the reason why Paula started trying so hard to impress him. But then he was put off by how hard she was trying and didn't want to be with her anymore. She just couldn't win no matter what. I truly don't think anything Paula could have have done would have ever been good enough in Mike's eyes. And she had so many good qualities that he completely ignored. Paula even got along with Mike's roommates pretty well, but he seemed so embarrassed whenever she goofed around. He supposedly wanted her to act more classy and not make inappropriate jokes. But I obviously don't think that was the real reason why he wanted to break up with her. Not to mention, Mike's not exactly the best example of a class act himself. He clearly just regretted making it official with Paula and didn't want to be committed to her anymore. I wasn't shocked at all when Mike decided to break up with her, but the way he went about it was not cool at all. Mike actually showed up at Paula's work and tried to explain why he didn't want to be in a committed relationship with her. It was painful to watch and I was floored that Paula handled it so well. But it was also really sad. Mike was essentially asking her to settle for scraps and she was surprisingly okay with accepting that. Later on, I'm not so sure that was the case though. For a while, it seemed like Paula wanted to cause some type of drama whenever she saw Mike out at the club. She would make weird comments to the women he was around and I feel like she was struggling to fully let the idea of being exclusive with him go. But obviously, Mike was too concerned about meeting different women to settle down at the time. Paula was worth so much more than Mike could ever give her back and I think everyone could see it but her. She ended up getting the last laugh, however, even though it was seriously disgusting. During the very last episode of the sixth season, which was the end of the original Jersey Shore series, Paula pulled a gross prank on Mike. The roommates were preparing to celebrate Mike's birthday and Paula had made a special cake for him, but the gesture was definitely not totally sweet and innocent. When the roommates roommates went tanning the next day, they found out something super disturbing. It turned out that Paula had one of her guy friends put his private parts on the cake before it was delivered to Mike. There was even photographic evidence of the inappropriate moment. Obviously, the roommates told Mike about their discovery and he called Paula to ask if it was true, but she pretended like she couldn't hear him and he got so angry that he smashed the phone. I can't lie, that was honestly so unsettling. I hated the way Mike treated Paula, but the cake incident crossed a line. Thankfully, Paula left Mike and seemingly all of the drama surrounding him in the past. In December 2012, Paula started dating Chris Rutherford. I think a lot of people were relieved that she was in a relationship with someone other than Mike, and she also seemed genuinely happy with Chris, which was great to see. Not only that, but he appeared to be way nicer than her ex from Jersey Shore. Mike hadn't really set the bar very high though. Chris and Paula's romance was seemingly healthy, steady, and perfect for them both. That's what she'd really deserve when Mike was putting her through the relationship ringer. And when they made an unbelievable announcement a few years later, I feel like everyone was thrilled for the both of them. In 2017, Paula and Chris welcomed their baby daughter, Evelise Joanna, to the world. In all of Paula's Instagram posts, she looked over the moon with her new life. I can't believe how much had changed in only a few years. So in 2021, after another few years, it was no surprise when Paula and Chris revealed two more incredible life changes. In January of that year, the couple announced that they had another baby girl named Ivalee. Paula was absolutely rocking being a mother, and before long, she added another title to the list. In May, she and Chris got married in a gorgeous ceremony. Paula was finally getting everything that viewers knew she would never be able to have with Mike, and it was astonishing to see. But speaking of Mike, so many Jersey Shores viewers still follow Paula on social media, and she finally addressed the constant reminders of her past on MTV. I think it's obvious that even though tons of people still recognize Paula from Jersey Shore, she's completely turned her life around since then. But I understand why having her past with Mike brought up in the comments might get irritating after a while. Paula posted about how she felt about still somehow being associated with the show over 10 years later, and what she had to say was crazy. Paula revealed that although she felt blessed by the love and support she got 
got from her followers, not every connection to Jersey Shore was positive. She acknowledged that most people probably remembered her as naive and having bad nails, but she wanted to separate from that now. Apparently, Paula has been trying to reestablish her name and brand now, that she has a couple of different professional titles, and she doesn't want her Jersey Shore days to distract from her career and abilities. I can't say I blame her. I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't want their immature party days to be the main focus of their identity, especially over a decade later. Aside from being a makeup artist, Paula is also a nail and spray tan technician. No wonder she always looks so put together, even when she posts photos of herself doing farm chores. But those aren't the only ways that Paula knows how to provide for her family. At one point last year, Paula also mentioned working as a bartender. She shares throwback photos sometimes of her past co-workers, so I'm not sure if she's still bartending or not on the side. Either way, it's clear that she has many different skill sets, which might explain why her estimated net worth is way more than I would have expected for some reason. Believe it or not, Paula's net worth is reportedly somewhere between 1.5 million and 2 million. But despite making a decent amount of money, she and her husband seem to have such a down-to-earth wholesome lifestyle. They live on a farm and it honestly looks like a dream. Paula and Chris own Rutler Farm Rescue and Sanctuary, which is insanely admirable. Paula frequently shares photos of the chickens and goats she has saved and raised on her Instagram. I have to admit, she does look extremely happy when she's showing off her rescue animals. She just honestly seems like a genuinely caring person, and I'm so glad she didn't end up staying with Mike, especially when you look at how peaceful and complete her life seems to be now. But what do you guys think? What do you think about the extreme difference between Paula's life now and what her life was like on Jersey Shore? What are your thoughts on Paula's farm and animal sanctuary? Let me know in the comments below.